Hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Samson Tedessa, and uh, I come to share a few things with you and uh, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And I come to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. And uh, God has been so good to me. And uh, I thank him for giving me another opportunity to come before him. And of course, to come before you and share a few things, as I said, that, uh, that God has been teaching me uh, throughout the years. And uh, praise God for that. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know me, I just want to introduce myself briefly. And uh, uh, my name is Samson Tedessa, and uh, I'm a believer, and I believe in the Word of God, and I believe the Bible is the Word of God, and praise the Lord. And I believe uh, there's only one God who created the heaven and the earth, and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, because that's what the Bible teaches us, and I I do absolutely believe in the Bible and the teachings of the Bible and the principle of the Bible. Praise the Lord. Uh, if you remember, uh, I'm going to begin actually my message by just sharing this uh, powerful and, and, and inspiring uh, uh, commandment, and which is the first commandment of all, uh, that God has actually given to the children of Israel who actually he, he brought from Egypt. And, you know, the story, I hope, and he brought them, they've been in, in bondage for 430 years, I believe. And he took them out of Egypt and he gave them a commandment just to remember and to keep and to abide by. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the first commandment of all that says, actually, hear, O Israel. Praise the Lord. Hear or listen. Hear, O Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the first commandment of the uh, uh, of all. And hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. And you shall love the Lord your God. He's reminding them. You shall love the Lord your God in all thy heart, in all thy soul. Praise the Lord. In all thy strength. Hallelujah. And he said, actually, just to remind them, because he knows what's going to come uh, ahead of them in their life. And, you know, their, their, their journey is a very long journey, of course, to get to Canaan, which is a, a promised land that God has given to their forefathers, Abraham. Praise the Lord. And he knows what's going to happen in their journey. So he's just reminding them. Praise the Lord. And you shall keep this in your heart and praise the Lord. And, and he told them also, you shall teach it to your children diligently. Praise the Lord. And you shall talk about it when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way. Even he said, when you, when you, when you lay down in your bed and when you wake up from your bed, praise the Lord. And he actually said that even you shall bind it as a sign, praise the Lord, as a sign in your hand, praise the Lord. It shall be like a falseness between thy eyes and praise God between thy eyes. One God and one God and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It shall be like a falseness between the eyes. Even you shall write it down in the, in, in the gates of your house. At the, at the doors of your, 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 your house, even he said. Praise the Lord. Why God is telling them this? Because he knows that they may forget this. And, you know, they know, he knows that, you know, that their journey is a very long journey. They will face some different types of things in their way so that they should remember this commandment. Praise the Lord. And this commandment, Jesus in the New Testament, he came and he was asked actually, which one is the first commandment of all? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What did he say? He actually quote the scripture that I just quoted you. That was in Deuteronomy 6, 4. And he quoted that. In If, if you read that scripture in Mark uh, 12, I think, 29 and 30, he was asked, which one of the first commandment of all? And this is the first commandment of all. He told them, he always write the Lord our God is one Lord. And praise the Lord. And of course, he, another place also, he said that, praise the Lord. The first commandment is love God and his commandment. And also love your neighbor as you love yourself. Praise the Lord. And this is the fulfillment of the commandment of all. Praise the Lord. We should love God, the Lord God, our God, and praise the Lord in all our heart. And also we should love our neighbors as, we, uh, uh, as, as ourselves. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. That's a commandment and the fulfillment of actually the commandment of all this commandment. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Therefore, I want us to, I want you to remember the first commandment of all is that says, Hear always right, the Lord our God is one Lord, and we shall love that 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 God in all our heart, in all our all soul, in our in our in our strength. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Therefore, we have to know the Bible is teaching that there's only one God. Even in the Bible, the first, you know, the first, the first uh, verses that, that, you know, that's written in the Bible. It says, by the way, it says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was void. And it says the spirit of God was upon the water. And it says, God says, let there be light. And there was light and praise God. So God is one, but word and spirit. He said, and it's done. Sam told us that he said, and it's done. So God created the heaven and the earth. This God that we're talking about, one God, he is a word. And at the same time, he is a spirit. Praise the Lord. Because it says, let there be light. And there was light. And also it's telling God the spirit of God was upon the water, right? There is, he has a spirit also. Praise the Lord. Psalm, if you read Psalm uh, 33, 6, David was telling us, actually, quoting, probably not quoting, actually by, you know, revealed you know, who God is and telling us, saying the heaven and the earth are made by the word of the Lord and all the host of them by the praise of his mouth and praise the Lord, which means God is a word and also a spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That is the nature of God and praise God. Because if you remember how God, God created Adam, you know, God created Adam actually from the dust from the dust and he gave him a brace in his nostril and then it says man become a living soul hallelujah so everybody every human being that you can see in this universe are actually made by god himself and of course god gave them a brace and then man become a living soul that's why every living things hallelujah that's that god created by his spirit praise the lord by his word and by his spirit praise the lord but god is numerically one Praise God. Not two, not three, not one in three. It's just one. God is one. Because it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Hallelujah. And we shall also love this God in all our heart, in all our mind. And praise the Lord. And I want to share another thing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And of course, this is made, you know, pretty much close to what I'm talking about, but it's a little bit different. Praise the Lord. In the second commandment, if you remember, God is telling them not to, to create anything or any kind of graven image to say this is God. So you cannot and we should not and we cannot represent God in anything that we see in this universe. Praise the Lord. God is a word and a spirit. Praise the Lord. God is one, but we cannot represent him. We cannot represent him with anything that we can see. Because if you read the second commandment, hallelujah, it says... I'm going to read that com that commandment. I'm going to share one scripture, very powerful scripture that Isaiah painted for us to know who Jesus is and, 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 and all the sacrifice that he made for us. Praise the Lord. And how he died to save me, to save you and the entire universe. Praise the Lord. So, therefore, we cannot represent God in image. Praise the Lord. Nowadays, if you know, there are many people trying to represent Jesus, you know, in, in different ways and, you know, in, in, you know, in a kind of image, right? Praise the Lord. I hope you have seen, you know, the image of Christ Jesus in many, uh, you know, different types of pictures and, 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 you know, things that, that we can see and, you know, the, you know, different types of representation. But Isaiah actually, you know, see who Jesus Christ is, you know, what he's going to go through for us seeing that you know, like uh, that revelation that, you know, revealed. Actually, he's kind of actually prophesizing about what's going to come in the future and who Jesus is and how he's been treated and what he did and what how how he he have gone through all this suffering and affliction and, 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 and betrayal and everything so that at the end of the day, ultimately, he came to save 
my soul, your soul, and everybody's soul, whoever believes in him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to, I'm going to share that script because that's something that I have in my heart. I just want to share it with you. And, but before that, I'm going to read, uh, the second commandment that God has given the children of Israel after he took them out of Egypt and what he told them, uh, about this. Praise the Lord. So, uh, that scripture is actually, uh, it's, it's, uh, you can find that in Exodus chapter 20 and praise the Lord. Let me read from the first one, actually, from the first one. And I'm going to also read the second one, the second, first commandment and second commandment. Praise the Lord. It says the first commandment, it says, uh, I'm, uh, actually, I'm reading uh, Exodus 20 from one and two. Uh, he says, I am the Lord thy God, which I have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Praise the Lord. Out of the house of bondage. Praise the Lord. Thou shalt have no other God before me. Praise the Lord. There, thou shalt have no other God before me or beside me or above me or beyond me, beside me. Praise the Lord. He just closed it saying that. Hallelujah. Also, he said, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Praise the Lord. That's an abomination. If you create some kind of image or if you design something and say this is God, that's actually not, not right because God is telling that. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything. Praise God. Praise God. Look what it says. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, that is in the earth beneath, that is in the water under the earth. So, therefore, what he's telling us is anything that we can, we can see, in this earth or under the earth or above the earth. We cannot represent God or put a kind of graven image to say this is God. And praise the Lord. So because God is a spirit, God is a word and a spirit. We cannot see him. Nobody ever seen him, God. But of course, there are many people who have seen his glory. You have seen him, his glory and his majesty through revelation. And sometimes he revealed things for them and they kind of understood that. But we cannot kind of say this is God, like in a kind of in a graven image. Praise the Lord. And therefore, I'm going to take you to Isaiah 53 and praise the Lord. And that scripture, I love that scripture. It's a very powerful scripture that tells us about, you know, Jesus and who Jesus was and also what he has gone through to save me and you and the entire universe. We know that Jesus Christ came to save our soul and praise the Lord from, from, you know, the things of this world from sin and days that was pronounced upon humanity. And praise the Lord. That was his purpose to come to this world. Praise the Lord. And to fulfill that purpose, actually, he has to die. Hallelujah. Has gone through different things and has has finally died. And praise God. And because he died, hallelujah. Therefore, we have hope and we have eternal life and everlasting life that we can inherit through faith in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. This, actually, I want you to know. These things only come through faith and praise God. It doesn't come from anything. It comes through faith. If you have faith in God, in his word, and believe God according to what he says, and you believe him, you will have life and praise the Lord. Because the scripture inspires us and encourages us and teaches us faith, the things called faith, comes by hearing and hearing from the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Faith, the thing that's called faith, comes by hearing and that hearing should come from the word of the Lord. So anything what God says is true and we have to build our faith in that truth, in that word of God and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What's faith itself? Faith is a substance of things that's hoped for and the evidence of things that's not seen. Praise the Lord. Even the writer of Hebrew telling us, and the heaven and the earth are framed by the word of the Lord. He said, by faith, we understand. I haven't seen. I was not there when God created the heaven and earth. But praise the Lord. Moses, God revealed things for Moses. And Moses wrote these things for us. And I do believe in it. I do believe in the Bible. I do believe in God. And I, be I do believe in the teachings of the Bible. Therefore, Moses told us by you know uh, receiving the revelation, how God created the heaven and the earth at the beginning. That's why it says, in the beginning. God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was void and the spirit of God was upon the water. And it says 
God says, let there be light. And there was light. That's how we know that God created the heaven and the earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Therefore, our faith should come from, from the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And Isaiah here is telling us, Isaiah 53, praise the Lord. I, I was, I was, I was meditating upon this, this scripture. I'm going to share it with you. Praise the Lord. Because the Bible also tells us, by the way, meditate upon the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. In, in, in Joshua, if you remember, he told us saying, actually, this book of the law, hallelujah, shall not depart from thy mouth. Hallelujah. Thy mouth. It should be in your mouth. It should be also in your heart. Hallelujah. He says, shall not depart from thy mouth, meditate upon it day and night. Hallelujah. He said, then also, observe to do according to the what's written, and then you shall make thy way pros uh, prosperous, and you shall have a good success. That's what the word of God teaches us. Therefore, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share Isaiah 53. He begins by saying, Who has believed our report? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And to whom the arm of the Lord is revealed. Hallelujah. It says, He shall grow up before him like a tender plant and a, like a root from a dry ground. And praise the Lord. And he told us, saying, Hallelujah, when we shall see him, he has no beauty. We should desire him. He is despised and rejected of man. Hallelujah. A man of sorrow and acquainted with grief. Praise the Lord. He says, we hid as if our face far from him. He is despised and we esteemed him not. Hallelujah. But it says, surely, surely he has borne our grief. Praise the Lord. And he carried our sorrow, he says. Hallelujah. Everything that we have gone through as a human being, grief and sorrow, he has carried all those things for us. He has carried our sorrows, our, our, our iniquities, in fact. If, if you read in the letter part also says, praise the Lord. I'm going to, I'm going to continue uh, sharing it. You'll know, uh, you know, the, 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 you know, the amount of things that Jesus has gone through to save me and you and the entire universe. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But he has carried our, our, our sorrows and our grief. That's what Isaiah was telling us. Hallelujah. He's a man of sorrow, acquainted with grief. Hallelujah. He, he has done all these things to take away our, our sorrows and our grief and everything that we can go through in this life. Praise the Lord. He has done it so that he's kind of inviting us through faith. Believe in me. I overcome the world and, and you'll overcome it. Hallelujah. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me continue sharing Isaiah 53. Actually, praise the Lord. It's very inspiring. And he says, actually, we steamed him. You know, when he has gone through that, we steamed him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. Hallelujah. But it says, hallelujah. This is a very powerful scripture. But he is wounded for our transgression. Hallelujah. He is wounded for our transgression. Hallelujah. He is also bruised for our iniquities. Transgression. Imagine God has given the law to Israel. If they disobey the law, they should die. Praise the Lord. The same thing. If we disobey the commandment and the law of God, we should have died. But praise the Lord. But he has, he is wounded for that. He is wounded for our transgression because we should have died actually. According to our sin, according to our deed, we should have died. But praise the Lord. But Jesus Christ actually died in, 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 in our behalf, in my behalf, in your behalf. That's a very powerful and encouraging scripture. I want you to take this scripture and to be encouraged. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he is bruised for your iniquities, my iniquities and your iniquities. He is also despised and, and rejected because of us. Hallelujah. He has to go through all these things so that we can have life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then the chastisement of our peace was upon him. And also the final thing he said, by his tribe, we are healed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By his tribe, because he was beaten. He was, you know, like he was nailed on the cross. And because of that, by his tribe and by his blood, we are all healed from sin and from all forms of disease and sickness and everything that, that comes from this world. 
praise the Lord. Because Isaiah was encouraging us and telling us what Jesus has gone through and what he has done for us. And praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Therefore, I am, I was here actually to share those two things. I want you to remember the first commandment of all. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God in all thy heart, in all thy soul, in all thy strength. And this commandment that I command you today shall be in your heart. And praise the Lord. Remember this. And also remember Isaiah 53. Because we don't have to represent God in a graven image or anything that's 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 like you know we can see or we can touch, we can we can you know we can observe in this universe. Rather, we have to kind of understand Jesus as Isaiah, uh, you know, uh, you know, kind of revealed about it. And he kind of gave us uh, a kind of, I think, uh, you know, picture about, you know, who Jesus is and, you know, what he has gone through to save me and you and everybody. Praise the Lord. It says, who has believed our report to whom the arm of the Lord is revealed. Hallelujah. He has, he has he, you know, he, he, he grown up before him like a thunder plant. Hallelujah, like a root from a dry ground. When we shall see him, there's no beauty. We should desire him. He is despised and rejected of man, a man of sorrow, acquainted with grief. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But surely he has borne also our grief. Hallelujah, he carried our sorrows. Hallelujah. The final thing, he said, hallelujah. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripe we are healed. Praise the Lord. So remember Isaiah 53, when you have gone through different kinds of things, Hallelujah. Different affliction, different challenge and temptation and, 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 you know, fear, you know, discouragement. Remember what Jesus has done. He has done it for you and for me and for you, for everyone who believes. Praise the Lord. Therefore, we should overcome thinking, also believing what Jesus has done for us and praise the Lord. So thank you for listening. May God bless you while you remember and meditate upon this words of the Lord. And may God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.